Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and River and I just finished up the brickwork for the hearth. You can see it extends through to that side, comes over to here. We may have a railing here. Well, I'm definitely going to have a railing here at some point. Um, I might do it out of wrought metal, or I don't know. I'm not sure about the railing here, but the basic setup of this is done. There's going to be stone going up here, and I've already collected a lot of those stones. And at this point, I'm just wiping the uh, excess cement off like you guys saw me doing yesterday, but with one important difference, and I wonder if you can guess what the difference is. Today I'm wearing gloves. Uh, I, I did not wear gloves the past couple days when I did this wipe down, and between having the concrete on my hands the past couple days and just, you know, the past couple months of, you know, bleach and washing your hands all the time, I got like a, a cement chemical burn on this thumb. It, 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 the edge of it looks like Freddy Krueger's face. <laughs> it just started bleeding while I was, uh, you know, finishing up yesterday. So uh, I've got that covered up, and I've been wearing gloves all day today, which you really should do whenever you're working with concrete. I mean, unless you know you're not going to touch it. Uh, yeah, I guess you can do without having the gloves on. But, um, you know, even if you know you're not going to touch it, half the time you end up touching it anyway. So gloves are a really good idea to have uh, on when you are working with the stuff. And they should be tough gloves like these, not uh, you know thin little latex gloves. Because the, uh, the, the concrete, is, in addition to being chemically uh, you know, dangerous for your hands, is also really abrasive. It's like liquid sandpaper as you're kind of moving through it all, the whole time. So gloves are a really good idea. But anyway, lesson learned again. I'm sure I've learned that lesson a number of times in the past. And in the future, I'll probably learn it again. But uh, I'm really happy with how this thing's uh, come out. This is kind of the heart of the house. You know, it's, it's where meals are going to be prepared. It's in the center of the house. It's kind of a, a place that, uh, you know, you'll be hanging out in the winter when you want to be near the wood stove and warming up. So I'm really pleased that this part came out nice. With all the contractors coming in and doing their, you know, adding their professional touch, which is usually out of plumb, out of level, and just kind of ugly looking. Um, it's nice to have something that's really well done and beautiful and, and strong. I, it's like, I didn't just like throw down a bare minimum of concrete under here, just that enough to get the bricks to kind of be in place. It's probably fine. There's a nice, solid, flat bed here. This is, this is bedrock right here. And uh, it feels nice being able to do something and do it really well, especially, again, when you're, you're calling in the professionals and they're just, you know, doing the least quality work that they possibly can to still get paid and, um, you know, sometimes below that level and, uh, and still get paid. So that's it. Uh, next step after this is we're going to start the rock wall here afterwards because uh, while I don't need it to put the wood stove down, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to put that, uh, that wall up without a wood stove there. That's it. Thanks for watching.